We are in Baylayton, Tennessee. We're at a TA to get an inspection sticker on this trailer. Has to get inspected. Jay says that I have been remiss in not using a mic. We're on top of that, so the audio is better because it's hard to hear my soft voice. That's what he has to say. What you doing? Cleaning the messy rice cooker pot. What's for lunch? Rice. And? Just rice. No, there's more. I put on a pot of vegetables, oh, which... That's why. There is more. Here's there the pot of... this. Andrea made this for me. Yes. A bucket of squash. <laughs> <laughs> Jay, who is sitting over here. He's over here. Say hello, Jay. Hello, Jay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we had a tremendous question come in from Buck Hogan. I got that right. Jay was messed with me earlier saying Huck Bogan. Sorry, Buck. Buck, thank you for your question. It's fantastic. Uh, here's the question. He says, hi, you two. My son and I are going to take off as a new team together. Congratulations. Uh, can you give some tips on staying clean and fresh between showers? Best products to use, uh, sort of potty. Waste water from brushing teeth. Thanks, I really enjoy you guys. Thanks for that question. Jay wrote an article on this topic and it's called The Nature Station in a Big Truck. So look for that article on the blog. It's excellent. He wrote that a few weeks back. And it hasn't been posted because these are things that are, um, people don't want to talk about yeah. or don't want to hear about, but they're very necessary, essential things you have to deal with every day on a big truck. Yeah. And it's not easy to talk about because they're talking about, you know, peeing and pooing. <laughs> so, and things like that. Daily realities. So, yeah. So, um, I wrote a brief article about how to deal with those things, how yes. we deal with them. That's right. Yeah. Because we had to figure this out. And a lot of people don't talk about this. We've been in a truck two years. And we haven't actually talked about this front to back. No seen? pun intended. <laughs> okay. Let's take this in stages. Your question. Some tips on staying clean and fresh between showers. Part one. This is a stainless steel. It's called a dash kettle. Well, hang I mean, on. Wait for the turtle part. So this is the probably the, the core of what we call our nature station. But it's stainless steel on the inside. It's not aluminum. This pot replaced the earlier one we had from Walmart. The one from Walmart was aluminum. Yeah. And we discovered that. We went, oh, this is bad. It's and a really it good heats kettle. water so fast you won't believe it. It has a little plate that's plugged in back here that sits on top of the table. I have this plate, it's plugged in, it's mounted back there Can on you the see it? back wall. See that piece <coughs> of Velcro? That's where um, it sticks. It sticks. So sort of lives. I'll hold this. And I need to get my video light out for this, but you can see that this just, this where it rides. It's right back here on the and back wall. And it's plugged in. And it's plugged in at, at so all, all times. All you do is whenever we need it, is unstick it, put it on the table, put the pot on it, turn it on. Pot is on it, put some water in it, and click go and it has a nice little purple light that comes on. Okay, that is how we heat water. And I put the water in this little bowl, which is a glad bowl from a disposable Walmart. Disposable food storage <laughs> bowl. Yeah, that's all We've it is. This goes onto the, onto the tabletop. I pour water in it. And if the water is too hot, I just mix some cool water. We keep uh, two gallons of water up here all the time. And up here, I pull out a washcloth and the washcloth goes into the water. And you put soap in it. I put a little bit of soap. Lavender soap. We have. Got a little bottle of soap. A little bottle of liquid 
soap. It's organic, biodegradable, all natural, lavender scented soap that came in a quart bottle. And we yeah. fill that little bottle from the quart bottle. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and all it takes is just a little, little bit in the little bathtub, dip um, the cloth in it, wring it out, you know, wipe, you know, water segment, dip it again, wring it out, you know, and you just do your whole body. Yep. And it's a bird bath. Yep. And then, you know, you do the, um, the hinder parts last. <laughs> yeah. And, and then, then the washcloth goes, goes in the dirty into laundry. Into the dirty clothes. So that little process uh, at night before we go to bed. It takes me about 10 minutes. It, you know, you smell good. You feel good. And you sleep good. You sleep better. You sleep a lot better. So that's the first part of our nature station. The good thing is right here, you got this curtain. You pull the curtain. You have your little boudoir here. Yeah. Space to, you know, undress. Um, take off all your dirty clothes. You got your hot pot of hot water and soap and washcloth and you just, you know, work it over and good once over. And we, oh, there's one more part to this. Yeah, this is just a cheap little, um. Got this at Walmart. Yeah, it Walmart plastic jug. It's, it's made by It's a Sterlite. half gallon jug. So when you're done uh, with your bath, your bird bath, um, you know, you wring out the cloth in the bathtub. Yeah. And then just dump the bathtub in just here. A, a little bit of water. You got maybe an inch of water in dump there. Dump it right in there. Put the top put on the it. Put the top on it. And when you, and that way, you, you know, you can just hop in bed and go to sleep. Right. And then when you have an opportunity, like when you get up and get dressed and get ready to go, you can take this and, you know, just dump it pour grass. it out in the grass. Just water and a biodegradable, all natural soap. Um, it's not going to kill the grass. And then like your dead skin cells and skin <laughs> oils, I mean, that's gonna go into the soil and feed the grass. Yeah, keep it upright. We simply use a dish tub. basin yeah. from Walmart and I have two of them. Yeah, so we love Walmart. Um, we do dishes. We do dishes. Because we cook. And you have a clean one, you take this out, you wash your dishes, rinse them, and the clean ones go in here and then you can dry them and then wash this out when you're done and this becomes the bottom one. Right, and then it and, switches. Yep, and then you're good to go. Clean dishes. Holder for your bird bath water and other assorted goodies. <laughs> yes. Okay. Number one before number two. <laughs> okay, we're moving on to number one. He said sorta of potty, question mark. So let's move to that part of his question. There it Bada is. Bada bing. Um, <laughs> No, I have talked about this before. Yeah, this is, um, this can be your best friend right here. Um, this is for peeing. Um, there are going to be times when you have to go and you cannot get to a toilet. When nature calls, sometimes it's convenient, sometimes it's not. Uh, sometimes you can make it to a rest area or a truck stop. But even if you do, here's what you go through. You still have to get the beast parked even after you get there, which can take several minutes to roll through at about 10 miles per hour, looking for a parking space. Then you do your maneuvering to set up for parking, wait for other trucks to move out of your way, then get backed in, pull the brakes, turn your lights off, unbuckle your seatbelt, take off your driving gloves, grab your keys, shut it down, climb down, lock the doors. Then, if you're lucky, are you less than 100 yards from a toilet, at a pilot, at a TA, at a rest area? You <laughs> likely not. Yeah, chances are no, you're not. So this is what so you're up against. Now you got the hundred yard dash. <laughs> Knight in shining armor right here. Yeah. Um it's amazing. Yeah. This I mean can change everything. Yeah. Or now, it, or not having it can change everything. It can change your Notice day. that neither of these are transparent. That's right. Not They're transparent. opaque. So that's on purpose. <laughs> yes. So you know, this can be used many times. But they get cleaned and sanitized Yeah, you can day. take it in, dump it out, go to the sink, hot water, antibacterial soap, cover it, shake it, dump it out. You leave the, you know, the residual foam in there and it keeps it clean, smelling fresh. Yeah. And it's ready to go next time you need it. Yeah. There are times when you are going to need it. I mean, it's just a fact of the trucking life. Last point, a lot of drivers, just don't drink liquids so that well, they won't have to go at all. And that is not healthy. Dehydration can cause confusion and fatigue. 
and it can cause um, other issues that in a truck. Impaired judgment. Yes. Dehydration is a big deal. Which keeps you from making good decisions quickly. Yes. Uh, which you need to be able to do when you're driving a big truck. Exactly. So you know, keep yourself well hydrated. Drink plenty of water. Drink. Fluids don't count. Water counts. Water counts. Soda, um, coffee, count. tea, doesn't energy count. drinks doesn't count. Those dehydrate. Okay, so we've covered number one. Now, step two. <laughs> number two. Part two. <laughs> okay. Okay. This Home Depot. It's a... Two gallon. I think it's a two gallon bucket. Yeah, it's a two gallon bucket. Two great value, four gallon. They come 36 in a box for a couple of bucks. Yeah. Um, we always have a stash of those. This is well. what it looks like. And you just pop one off, whoosh, pop it in the bucket. This is useful for many things. Um, First of all, we put all of our paper products in it. Paper towels used to wipe your hands. Uh, tissues. When we clean out a pot. A pot. You know, it goes in here. Uh, or a pan or silverware and or cups. Whatever we wipe out, we clean in on the truck. We cut up vegetables, peeling apples or coring, whatever you're doing, it goes in there. Yeah. With the paper and stuff. It's just paper. Right. And food remains. Right. Um, because and then, we don't want anything that could puncture the back. Yeah, because, well, when you, you're going to brush your teeth, you need somewhere to spit. And right, right on in top there. of Rinse the paper. Rinse your mouth, spit have a nice convenient easy receptacle you know handy for brushing teeth right and then but at some point you jump in the back pull the curtain drop your drawers and <laughs> do your you business you have a sort of body <laughs> and then bring up the, the the bag release the air hold your breath <laughs> turn it and put a little granny knot in it and it can be disposed of. And then grab one of your uh, favorite uh, gifts from Walmart, which is a free Walmart bag. Yeah, by the way, it is not illegal to put it into a, a trash can or a dumpster. Um, if it were, then baby diapers, Huggies, Huggies would be out of business. Would be out of business. Yeah. The pilot, they have trash cans and dumpsters. Um, yeah. Rest areas have trash cans and dumpsters. Roadside truck parking, they usually have trash cans and dumpsters. Right. I mean, there's plenty of places to dispose of it. I don't it. think it has to be said, don't leave it on the side of the road. I don't think that don't has to be Don't throw it out the window, yeah, <laughs> going down the highway. Just take care of it responsibly. Be responsible, um, yeah. And then your liner keeps your bucket always yep. clean. So when you take this out, replace it right away with a new fresh clean one and you're and good to go. And it's ready to go. And that just sits behind the seat up in the corner. And uh, it's dumped every day. Yeah, oh, at least a couple times a day yeah so yeah it gets used enough you know and changed out enough you know a couple times a day that you know just with cooking and cleaning and whatnot um, you know that you don't have a problem with odor right yeah Charmin yes, ultra strong use the absolute <laughs> softest softest <laughs> thickest toilet paper that you can find <laughs> because in the truck stops it's the thinnest scratchiest oh most <laughs> that's the worst <laughs> is this this is just water in an excellent spray bottle just find the best bottle you can it's rinsing your toothbrush you when you're done your yes. right over the bucket right you this. spray your hands little soap Ton. we fill this thing up probably you know once a day or every other day seriously okay. when I cook rice when I'm done I spray that, pan out, and I get a, grab a paper towel and um, oatmeal in the morning. It's like this thing gets used all the time. All the time. Clean up pots and dishes. I with don't it think all we could time. do without it. No, it's fantastic. No. Show, grab the rock with the secret weapon. The secret weapon we have is talked the rock. About this before. We have talked about this. <clears throat> this is a mineral salt. It's called the crystal. I it's called a dash kettle the core of what we call our nature station. It really yeah, does. There's half of my bath <laughs> done. <laughs> yeah, do the other half. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> seems like we're talking about poop a lot lately, the, the past couple of weeks, but it's an important topic.